Welcome back to my channel, The Creepy Dark Basement. Today, we will be talking about a case called the Jokuchikobo Poltergeist Case. This is a case study about a girl in Jabuchikabo, Brazil, whose name was Marie Jose Ferreira. This was back in the year 1965 when all these strange events started happening to Maria's family and those around her. It all began with a pile of bricks that initially was outside of the family home. These bricks would start to materialize inside the family home, dropping from midair. Now, the family thought it had to be some kind of joke or prank, but after several days of this happening, they knew that that wasn't the case. Their first course of action, being that of a prominent Catholic family, was to call in a priest. The priest performed an exorcism on the house, but that just made the activity worse. Then their neighbor, a dentist and a spiritist, by the last name Velope, stepped in and vowed to help the family. He quickly realized the activity centered around the 11-year-old Maria. Velope took Maria into his house to see if he could help her to study her and to record his findings. When she got to his home, the first few days were calm, but then the stones started to fall. Wherever Maria went, the stones would fall. Some of the stones would split in half in midair, and they had this sort of magnetic attraction to each other that would fade over time. Not too long after the stones started to fall, Maria discovered that her new playmates, which she named the Invisibles, would bring her things that she would request, like candies and trinkets. Pelope recorded that one time they were out for a walk, Maria, him, and another person. When Maria stated out loud that she would love a little brooch, and out of nowhere, seeming materialized in front of them, was a small brooch at their feet. To Maria, this was amusing, it was magical and entertaining, but that would soon all change. The energy of this unknown entity shifted drastically, going from a playful, childlike energy to diabolical and dark. The intensity of it increased and it became violent. All the glassware in the house was smashed. Maria started being slapped, punched, bitten, bruised by the invisibles. Even when she was asleep, she wasn't safe. It would take cups and put over her mouth and nose, trying to suffocate her. Objects were thrown at her, mirrors, pictures, even one time a huge sofa. She was also attacked with needles. They would appear embedded in the heels of her feet. One time they removed 55 needles from one of her heels, leaving her feet bandaged and sore. She could hardly walk. And then the fires started. Everywhere Maria went, fires would break out. One time a pillow started burning from the inside and Velope burned his hands very badly trying to grab it. One day Maria was eating lunch with her schoolmates when her clothes began to smolder and smoke, spontaneously catching on fire. They took Maria to a well-known medium in Brazil who told her that Maria was once a witch in her past life and it was her victims that were tormenting her. Although they performed rites to help Maria, all they could do was slow the attacks, not stop them altogether. In 1967, Maria returned to live with her mother. She was 13 years old. For the next three years, Maria continued to be tormented. It weighed on her, and it finally must have broke her. Because when she was 16 years old, she laced a soft drink with pesticides, drank it, and killed herself. Finally free from the torment and the torture that she experienced here on this earth, I'd like to think that Maria finally found peace. 